friends, it's Living Young Country Girl, and I am going to be sharing with you guys a Dollar Tree um, haul with some fall stuff and back to school stuff. So it's a fall haul from Dollar Tree. How fun is that going to be? Oh my goodness, I'm totally rhyming and not meaning to. That was funny. Anyways, let's get to it. So they had only a small section of fall decorations. I'm pretty sure they're going to start getting more in here soon. Um, and then they had like a really, really small section of Halloween stuff, but we also have a very small dollar store in our town, so, you know, it is what it is. But they still had some cute stuff. So this is one of them, and I thought this was absolutely darling. It says, Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. Now, this is kind of just like that cardboardy paper. It's not like actual wood, but it's like that thick cardboard kind of stuff. Um, so it's not going to be super sturdy, but it's really cute. It has kind of like the wood effect. This one doesn't have the actual dents like the ones that I got um, on the 4th of July, I think it was. They were a lot more woody actually like feeling as well, but it still looks really cute. And I just love the pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. I like to hang these on the doors around our houses, houses around our house and just different places throughout our home. Um, you can just lean them up on a counter, lean them anywhere and just kind of add a little bit of harvest in the bathroom or wherever it may be. So I like to pick up a bunch of these. So this was the first one I got. And then I got, I thought this one was really pretty too. And this is like really sparkly. I don't know if that's showing up. It's actually really sparkly and pretty. So thankful, grateful, and truly blessed with the sunflowers. And this one to me, even though it doesn't have like the texture of wood, it looks really good as far as like, it looks really nice quality. It's the same thing as that cardboardy. So these wouldn't be good outside or anywhere where it could get wet, but in the home, like on our doors, or like I said, in our bathrooms, just to be able to stick it on a shelf or something is a really great way just to add a little bit of fall to it. I love decorating for fall. I will literally start decorating here in a couple weeks. Um, start putting up some of the fall stuff so that it will be up and ready by September 1st because I want my fall stuff up for September, October, and then come November 1st, I actually start putting up Christmas stuff. I do keep my dining room table still in the fallscape, um, usually through Thanksgiving, and then the rest of the house I start switching over starting Thanksgiving first because it usually takes me about a week to two weeks to do it. And I don't want to be doing it at the beginning of Christmas. I want to be able to come December to be able to enjoy it. And then Thanksgiving week is always hectic. We always take a vacation after Thanksgiving, any time after Thanksgiving and Christmas. So it's one of those times where for us, that's just the way it works. And because fall and Christmas are my favorite time of year, I like to decorate and enjoy it for a couple months if you're going to put that much work into it. So this is my favorite one I got. This one says gather together with this cute red wreath and um, acorns and it has the wood look to it again. It doesn't have any texture to it, but um, I think they did a really good job making it look that way. My daughter wanted to say something and I have a feeling it's probably going to be embarrassing to me, but go for it. <laughs> she starts listening to Christmas music in July and listens to it six months after um, Christmas ends, so. That means I listen to it year-round. I know. <laughs> it's true. I do. Oh, that's <laughs> Not cool. constantly, but. Yeah, isn't this one cute? And it has that's the cool. little farm truck oh. with the pumpkin, and it says, Happy Fall. I love this. We have a little farm truck um, on our front porch, on our mat, and I just think it's such a cute thing. We have it um, at Christmas with the Christmas tree in the back. I really, really want to get one of these farm trucks and put it somewhere so I can, like, change it out. Yeah, we have an ornament as well as salt and pepper shakers and a few other things. Our sheets have things. it, so we like it. Um, I need to find one of these. I saw one today at Hobby Lobby, but it had a candle spot in the back, and I don't want one with a candle spot. I want it just to be empty so I could put a little pumpkin or a little Christmas tree or switch out as the seasons go on. What should I do? You should just find like an old down truck, whether it's red or not. You can either paint it red or leave. Or... I've heard some people say they found trucks like that at like the thrift store and they've done that. They've painted it red, but I haven't had any luck. So then I got these store. two. This one says, welcome friends. So this is not one that hangs. It's like a little sit on your shelf. Whoop, we're losing focus with all those people in here. Oh no. There we go. And our color changed. That's all right. Now we look really tan. So this one says, welcome friends. And I thought that was absolutely darling just to sit somewhere like on our welcome table. We have a bunch of pumpkins and other things as well. So I have a lot of fall decorations. So I couldn't go too crazy overboard, but I wanted to at least do something. Um, and then there's hello fall and I'll be sure to do a home tour. I always do a home tour with our fall decorations and our Christmas decorations because like I said, I put so much into it and I really enjoy doing it and 
it's just so much fun for me, so I love to share it with you guys. So this one says, hello, fall. Oh. has the little pumpkins. <laughs> Our puppies are being silly. He's like, I want to be in the video, too. You want to be in the video, too, Lucky? Okay. I like you and then there were these are the little pumpkins. Um, they're on little clips, and they're the little white pumpkins. And it's funny because they actually have a clip on both ends. Or is that one? That one popped off. Oh, that one got knocked off. Um, but they're really cute for putting adding to a wreath. So we have some little plaid... Um, bow ribbon that I picked up at Hobby Lobby so I will kind of take my wreath that I have on the front door and add some fall decorations to it as fall comes along so no you can't have one for your Barbies <laughs> so that was the fall decorations I believe I did pick up Halloween Christmas ornament two Halloween ornaments wait I thought I bought two packs of these you only got one I thought you dropped one I don't know if I put it back oh well, she put it back in and get it. So these are actually ornaments, but they're like little Halloween eyeballs and black little things. And I thought these would look really pretty like in some kind of like on our glass tree. bowl. No, not in our Christmas tree, Aww. but in a glass bowl or something. So it looks like eyeballs are looking at you and stuff. Yeah. So the kids are now kind of getting into the creepy Halloween versus the cute. So we have one table that... I don't need Google that... spiders anymore. <laughs> no. We have one table, our entry table. Um, I will actually switch out for like... A week or two in Hall in October, and I will add um, to our pumpkins that I have for fall. Whoa. I will add some of the kind of like ghoulishy stuff to it, and so that's kind of fun. But this is definitely something that I would put on there, and it was the only thing I saw that I really liked in the Halloween section. So, what do you have to say now, baby? So you have to add a little Young Living to like your Halloween party. So we use um. What the, the Aria. And it just like flows off the table and we set to the purple light and it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. We have an Aria diffuser and the way it kind of mists out, it kind of creates like almost like a fog. So I like to put it on that entry table during that like time of year. Effect. So it will make it look like there's fog. And then we have like little potions and little jars that say stuff that I printed off of. It's like just dyed water. And, yeah, it was just dyed water and stuff. So we picked up a couple leashes. This isn't fall or homeschool, but our one dog likes to chew through the dog leashes when Not we're camping. Not his leash, the other leash. Yeah, he chews so he through. he frames the other dogs. Yeah, he frees all the other dogs and leaves himself there like he was such a good puppy, but he's the one who chews through them. So we picked up a couple metal leashes because we're going to be going camping here soon. So, and they're a little bit longer so they can have a little bit of space, a little bit of room. Um, they're never they're always within sight of us it's not like they're left ever tied up but like if we're fishing or we're just swimming right there um, they have to be tied up and they have to be leashed so we'll just throw them on a leash and then that way they can kind of roam around a little and hopefully now they won't get free because that marshmallows! and I need the marshmallows okay so we have marshmallows um, the dollar store is a great place to pick up marshmallows unless you want there jumbo are, ones they don't have jumbo ones. Yeah, but the kids eat so many marshmallows when their friends come over, and I have to say probably half of them end up in the fire because they burn them, and then they're not happy, and blah, blah, blah. Or usually so, it's like, I don't like it. Throw it in the fire. Yeah, so I started just buying them from the dollar store when I find them on, find them on sale and stop buying the really nice, like, big, square, s'more ones. Because I got tired of people wasting them. So if we're going to, if it's just like the family or people that we know that aren't going to do that, then we'll use those. Otherwise, I just pick them up at the dollar store. So I also picked up a couple of these ice packs. They have these at the dollar store and they're such a good deal because they work awesome and they're great for putting in your lunches. They're the reusable ones. Um, they have small ones that are like half the size and then they have these large ones. And because my it's so warm here and my husband doesn't eat, he takes his lunch and dinner to work, he doesn't always get to eat it right away. And if it's really hot, we need like big ice packs so I can pack these in there to keep his uh, Or another thing one people will waste marshmallows is that we had a kid throw a marshmallow in our toilet, literally. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, then I picked up, this is my back to school part. I picked up, I didn't pick up a lot of stuff. I literally got some gel pins, which are really awesome. They're um, the gel ink. I think they're the gel ink. No, it looks like it just says ball pin. I thought they were the gel ink. I don't know. Either way, they're colorful pins. And then I picked up a bunch of these bags. Now, I didn't actually pick these up per se for school. I picked up three of the pencil holders in black and three in gray. Um, one of my friends, or on Pinterest or somewhere along the way, I saw somebody talking about how they will um, put puzzle pieces in here or put puzzles in here because you can see what it is. So I thought this would be great for putting puzzles in or for putting um, even like game cards or stuff. And then I always like to have one of them in the 
car with some color pencils and just some paper, like small paper, so they can do that. And then I also picked up these two clipboards because they're like smaller size clipboards. They're not full size. Um, they're a seven and a half by ten and a half, so they're oh not a full goodness. size paper. So we got this one for my daughter and this one for my son. They are just cardboard. They're not actually wood. But again, I thought these would be great for like either in our morning basket or even in the car. They'd be a great for organization in the car. So oh, yeah, I just healed. Oh my gosh, pandas because there's pandas on this. So this one was for her actual like color pencils or like in the car kind of deal. And I thought she would like this one with pandas. And then I got my son Hi. the little camo one, which these are really a dollar, you guys. Like this is the best thing. And then I got this one that just says hi for myself. So we can all have our pencils and our stuff in there. So um, when we're getting ready to either go somewhere and you have to take your stuff with you, you have it. I even like just keeping them in there regularly because we move around a lot when we're doing our homeschool. We don't always stay in the school room. So I like to have it very mobile. So if we want to go make somewhere. Us do it when we're traveling in the RV. So that's kind of the whole haul I think from dollar store oh I did get this I only found one I was really wish I could have found more I love this color this would have been perfect for our school room I have some red and blue ones and I was literally going to spray paint them because they aren't colors that match our school room so when I saw this one I was super excited because this is a really pretty color but this was the only one I saw I looked all over the store and couldn't find any and this was just randomly tossed on a shelf that like by food it wasn't even by school stuff so I think when they came in they sold out probably immediately I could have asked the ladies if they had more in the back they're super sweet and we're in there all the time so they're they know us but um, I was just kind of like I already bought those other ones I was going to spray paint. I bought the spray paint. I just haven't had a chance to do it. So, um, if you go, if you're at a dollar store and you find these, you're lucky, I think, because these are such a cute color. And no. magazine bins are so expensive. It's crazy. But anyways, guys, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. Um, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And we will see you guys all again real soon. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye. Jesus,